Blackmagic is changing how we think about low budget cameras. But when looking at camera resolution, dynamic range, 4K, we often can glaze over the audio hardware and software. So how do you set up audio on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera? Find out in 180 seconds. One of the features that makes this camera more intriguing than a DSLR or a mirrorless camera is the audio capabilities. Equipped with two audio inputs, a 3.5 millimeter jack and a mini XLR, the BMP CC 4K sets itself apart when it comes to in-camera audio capabilities. The mini XLR port provides phantom power for your mics and has a broadcast standard noise floor of negative 23 LUFs or about negative 71 decibels. You'll definitely want to pick up an adapter cable for this input so you can attach it to normal XLR cables and cover longer distances. I've included the link to the one we recommend and use below. The camera's preamp, while doing nothing spectacular to the audio quality compared to a, like say a higher end audio device, produces still a very clean audio output with very little distortion or artifacting. Now I would recommend using something like the Rode NTG3 mic or something equivalent in this setup and not something like a dynamic microphone which will have a hard time getting boosted by the preamp to get a good clean signal. The preamp tends to be a little weak but I've had very few issues when using shotgun or boom mic setups with the camera. Though it's usually recommended to have at least two XLR inputs for recording audio, this setup is great for recording most interviews. If you're recording more than one person, it's probably a good idea to have another audio recording device that has more XLR inputs. Besides some of these limitations, this is a great feature to have on a camera when on run and gun style shoots and you either don't have the time to set up the audio equipment or you don't have room in your luggage. Let's move on to the 3.5 millimeter input. The one downside to this input on the BMP CC 4K is that it is not powered like the mini XLR input. That means in order to use this input, you will need devices that already power themselves. I prefer to use this input for wireless lapel mics like the Rhodes Wireless Filmmakers Kit, typically during an interview. I usually use this as a backup mic to my boom setup. Just like the Mini XLR input, it produces good clean audio when using it with the wireless lab setup. Blackmagic has also included some really cool pro features for this input as well. The 3.5 millimeter jack can also serve as a time code input, making it easier to sync your clips together in post. When you've attached your mic to the XLR input or the 3.5 millimeter input, head over to the internal settings section of the camera to the audio tab. There are several options to choose from, the internal camera mic, XLR input, or the 3.5 millimeter input. Keep in mind that each of these will only output a mono audio recording. If you selected the XLR input, head over to the next page on the tab and you can turn on your phantom power to power the mic. In the audio tab or in the main display of your camera, you can adjust your audio levels for each individual input. It's a very quick and easy way to set up your audio when filming and very easy to see and monitor while filming. And that is how you set up audio on the BMP CC 4K. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's episode, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Until next time, this is John Owens with Frame Voyager.